Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing and freezing issue with Starship Troopers Terran Command game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to change region to English United States or United Kingdom. For this, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Go to time and language. Now go to region and from here regional format, you can select English United Kingdom and then launch the game if that does not work select English United States and now launch the game now also make sure set time automatically is on over here so make sure set time automatically and set time zone automatically is on in Windows 11 select the right time zone from here and then click on sync now and then launch the game now the next step is to install .NET framework for this copy this command this command is provided in the video description so copy this type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app then click on run as administrator make sure that you are opening command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key now this process will take some time now once this is complete on the same window run the second command then run the third command so if you receive any kind of error message during this command just ignore it and run the next command and once this is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game so here you can see 100% complete you can run the second command hit the enter key and then run the third command then restart your computer and then launch the game you can also enable .NET framework in the search box type in turn on windows features on or off and then click on it and then make sure .NET framework 3.5 and 4.8 it checked both checked if not checked check both and then click on apply ok and once that is complete restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to verify the game file now this is very important so go to the start go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to the local files tab then click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification launch the game now next step is to try beta version so for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to the beta tab and then from here drop down select beta open beta now once you select it this will install the required file and once the installation is complete now you can click on play and launch the game still you are facing the problem in that case you can remove this beta if that does not work you can select none and then launch the game once again now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver now this is important so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go go to amd website i am showing for nvidia on nvidia website select your graphic card from the list so make sure that you select the right graphic card so select your graphic card over here in my case i have selected my graphic card you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system from here in my case it's windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 then click on start search now once you click on start search scroll down the top one is generally GeForce game ready driver right now it is showing nvidia studio driver so i will download GeForce game ready driver this is the latest one so on the top you might see GeForce game ready driver so download the latest version so click on get download and then once the download is complete run this exe file click on yes to allow and then click on ok and let the process complete now click on agree and continue and then select the option which says custom and then click on next. Now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. So put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete. Now after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now this is very important if you are receiving application load error or if you are unable to launch the game, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. 
if you have if you're using windows security then go to the start menu then click on settings now if you have windows 11 click on privacy and security if you have windows 10 click on update and security in i have windows 10 so i will click on update and security for windows 11 click on privacy and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection now scroll down at the end here you can see manage ransomware protection click on it then click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow now click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if it is in c drive open c drive program files x86 then open steam folder open steam apps folder then open the common folder now over here you will find the game folder in my case it's in e drive steam steam apps common then open the game folder let me check uh, i have it in my d drive so open the steam library steam apps common and then open the game folder and now over here select the launcher.exe click on open once that is added click on browse now go to select starship troopers.exe and then click on open now once the game is added over here now launch the game now the next step is to is for laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you are running the game on dedicated graphic card for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on browse again go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed open steam steam apps common open the game folder now you can select the launcher first then click on add once this is added click on options select high performance then click on save again click on browse now select the starship troopers.exe file click on add now once the game is added over here click on options high performance then click on save now launch the game next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder for this again go to the game installation folder make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local file it will straightway take you to the game installation folder now select the game exe file make a right click select properties go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply ok and launch the game from here so make a double click over here and launch the game now the next step is to disable steam overlay so for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game uncheck this and then launch the game also close all the other overlay applications so if you have any other overlay applications such as if you have discord running close discord now if you have geforce experience running close geforce experience so close all the overlay application also install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 install x86 and x64 versions so click on both the exe file and then run both the exe file now you might see install option if you see install option click on install if you see the repair option click on repair click on yes to allow run the second file as well now again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install in my case this is already installed so after the installation restart your computer so just make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi after burner running on the computer close msi after burner so if this is running close it also if you have a revert tuner running close revert tuner so close all the overclocking application also perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration now go to the services tab then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services put a check over here and then click on disable all in my case this is grayed out in your case it will be highlighted so put a check over here then click on disable all then click on apply okay you will see the restart option restart your computer and then launch the game 
next step is to update your windows this is important so make sure that your windows is up to date so click on Win update and security or windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart you can be run and then launch the game next step is to disconnect multiple monitors so if you have multiple monitors set up disconnect multiple monitor and try launching the game on single monitor also unplug all the usb external devices which is connected to the computer so disconnect all the external devices which you are not using and then launch the game also if you have these software running close these software so make sure only the steam and the game is running rest close everything also remove the undervolt so if you have undervolted your hardware remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to launch the game in window mode and then lower down graphics settings now go to options go to graphics now if full screen is selected uncheck full screen and switch to window mode disable vsync if graphics quality is set to maximum you can select high or you can select good or you can even select simple and then check the performance now also lower down the screen resolution to lower down the screen resolution if this is set to 4k you can select 1920 into 1080p or you can even lower down the resolution more and then check the performance now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and delete the game folder and after you delete it now restart you can be there. after the system restart now reinstall the game to different drive so if you have another ssd or hdd try installing the game to different drive and then check so one of the steps should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel